The Isle of Wight is the largest island in England and is also considered a country. It's well known for its pleasant climate, beautiful coastline, and lush countryside. Though it's only a small island, it's a popular vacation destination with hundreds of tourist attractions. Join Vucation as we take you on a tour of the best things to do on the Isle of Wight, England. Monkey Haven animal lovers will surely love this place. Monkey Haven is undoubtedly the best place to have an up-close experience with the Isle's exotic creatures. Monkey Haven has received numerous accolades for being a spectacular visitor attraction. Aside from that, it's also a primate rescue facility. It cares for unhealthy or injured animals who've been rescued from zoos and homes. Naturally, the monkeys are the main draw, but there are also rescued animals there, such as birds, reptiles, and meerkats. Another thing that adds to Monkey Haven's accolades includes its rescue and release policy. This means that, if possible, they release the animals in their care back into the zoo or wild after they've recovered from whatever caused their original ailment. There is a daily activity schedule that can allow your own little monkeys to interact closely with the animals. Dinosaur Isle not only is Dinosaur Isle the UK's first dinosaur museum, but it also houses the island's geology and fossil collections. The museum has on display life-size dino models, thousands of fossils, and interactive exhibits. All of these tell a part in the story of the 15 kinds of dinosaurs that were believed to have once lived on the island. Visitors to the museum can take part in regular fossil walks that take place near some of the island's finest rocks. The Needles the Needles is one of the best places to visit on the Isle of Wight and is suitable for both adults and kids. Located on the island's west coast, the Needles is recognized as one of the UK's seven natural wonders. It's a row of three stacks of chalk that rise about 30 meters out of the sea. A boat trip from the shore takes you close to Alum Bay, where you can enjoy a sight of the natural wonder. There's a cafe, gift shops, and even a 4D movie theater in addition to the famous landmark. Also, you get to enjoy fun activities like a carousel ride, teacup, and a whole lot more. Mint humbugs and pear drops are among the treats available at the Isle of Wight Sweet Manufactory. You can also have fun sculpting your own sand decorations at the Needles Sand Shop. Isle of Wight Steam Railway the island steam railway is one of the best places to visit, especially for those looking to connect with the island's classic vibe. The train story exhibit, which features carriages from the Edwardian and Victorian eras, is sure to please rail enthusiasts of all ages. From the main station in Haven Street, passengers can board beautifully restored steam trains for excursions. You can also arrange for unique experiences like the footplate experience. Interesting places within the landmark include a beautiful woodland walk, where visitors can spend a lovely time with nature. There's also a children's play area and a cafe, making it an ideal family spot. Carisbrook Castle the Carisbrook Castle is one of the places with a rich English heritage. It's best known for its role in the Civil War and as a prison for King Charles I. There's an exhibit in the 16th century guardhouse, which gives a detailed account of his imprisonment and the experiences of those who ended up there. Another spectacular feature of the castle is probably the donkeys living in its yard. Visitors can see how the donkeys used to move water 49 meters from the castle well to a 16th century treadwheel. There's more than enough to do and watch at the castle to have a wonderful wonderful time. You can take a stroll along the castle's battlements or explore the Carisbrook Castle Museum in the Great Hall. The intricately carved St. Nicholas Chapel also serves as the island's war memorial. Quar Abbey a trip to the Isle of Wight's Quar Abbey is a must-do activity. It's an incredibly popular spot for its afternoon tea. The landmark is a monastery with a farm shop and a cafe that draws a lot of visitors. Additionally, the location's medieval architecture adds to its allure. Quar Abbey was designed in 1911 by Dom Bellet, a former architect who became a monk. The 200-acre grounds are surrounded by lush vegetation, which makes peering out the windows a pleasurable experience. A favorite attraction for visitors is the pen of Quar or Abby's resident pigs, which can be found near the entrance. Before we tell you more, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. Ventnor Botanic Garden Ventnor's microclimate has made it a popular tourist destination. Its warm weather has attracted people from all over since the reign of Queen Victoria because of the warm weather. One fascinating thing about the town is its botanical gardens are arranged to represent different time zones. There's the Australian Garden, the South African Terrace, the Olive Grove, and the Japanese Garden. It's possible you'll see some of the fabled Isle of Wight red squirrels while touring the gardens. There are also lots of places that promise to take you on a culinary treat. A Dulles restaurant provides not only fine dining but also affords diners an elegant view of its location. Do well to get yourself a souvenir at the gift shop near the Plantation Room Cafe. 
set sail on the open seas. One of the most enjoyable things to do on the island is to take a leisurely cruise around it by boat. The maritime town of Cowes, through its direct link to Southampton, has become a robust sailing community. It's become a destination for yachtsmen, sailors, surfers, and more. It's one of the few places where you can easily enjoy the open waters while being a novice. Many companies offer yacht riding services, and it's among the best things to do for fun in the region. Be sure to check out Cowes Week, which takes place in August and features daily boat races, live music, stalls, pop-up bars, and fireworks displays. Practice yoga on a paddleboard in the water. If getting into the same yoga poses on a hard surface is fun, try doing them on a paddleboard. Not only is it fun, but it comes with many benefits. The sea serves as a tranquil backdrop while simultaneously developing your ability to maintain balance and, as a result, strengthening your core. A surfing company, iSurf Mobile Surf School, teaches stand-up paddleboard yoga lessons to those interested. And if you don't want to get wet, you can check into places like Erling's Yoga, located on the south coast. Black Gang Chine Black Gain is a village on the Isle's southern coast. It began to attract visitors in the 1840s after it was turned from the Chine Gorge into the beautiful gardens by an entrepreneur. To entice Victorian tourists, he displayed a recently discovered whale skeleton and thus began the interesting collection of sites that now make up the theme park on the cliffs. The amusement park is best suited to families with young children. The park has sections dedicated to a wide range of interests including pirates, cowboys, underwater creatures, fairies, and dinosaurs. While it may not be as fancy as ultra-modern amusement parks, it's quite fascinating that it's been around for 175 years. Robin Hill Country Park The Robin Hill Country Park is one of the best all-around parks on the Isle. It has an adventure playground, an awesome theme park, and a countryside calm vibe. The 90 acres of the park offer a wide range of activities for the entire family. There's everything from slides and rides to a treetop trail. Spending the day in the park is made simple thanks to the abundance of restaurants and cafes. There's always something going on at the park, so there's never a dull moment. In the spring, there are Easter egg hunts, the Eclectica Music Festival in the summer, and electric lights that see the woods lit up with lanterns during the fall. There's also a combined pass for both Black Gang Chine and the Country Park, making it more affordable to visit both attractions. Shanklin Chine This tree-lined gorge, a popular tourist destination for more than two centuries, is said to have been a favorite of Jane Austen and John Keats. With its chocolate box Shanklin Village and seafront just a walk away, Shanklin's Chine is an ideal route to the fairgrounds. While there's a small fee to use the lush green walkway, visitors are encouraged to do so because of the diverse array of plants and animals that can be found there. There's an educational exhibit about the area's natural wonders, as well as an area where you can interact with some of the wildlife. When it's summertime, the gorge is lit up with hundreds of luminaries to create an enchanting and unique experience. Now it's time to hear from you. Have you ever been to the Isle of Wight? Do you plan to go? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.